Hello and welcome to week four. Can you believe we are already at the halfway point of the class? Time sure flies when you're having fun in math. Let's take a look at what's coming up during week four. So as always, you wanna make sure that you are going to the weekly modules in Canvas. So we can see here we have our week four module. You always wanna make sure you read the week four overview or the overview for the week. That gives you a summary of the assignments that are due and it points out anything necessary that I really want you to pay special attention to during the week. So coming up this week, you have to reply to the homework strategies discussion board. So that was the discussion board you completed last week. And so by Wednesday of this week, you also need to go back and read a classmate's post and reply to them, giving them some thoughtful feedback, letting them know how their post maybe was helpful to you or suggested something new that you might try. Um, then we, again, we have our more assignments due. This week we're working on unit seven and unit eight. Um, next, we have a content page called Proportional Reasoning and that content page previews the Extend Your Learning assignment for the week. So I wanna make sure that you guys are viewing the content pages before you try to do the Extend Your Learning activity. Um, it's the extend your learning activities. They're challenging activities and they're meant to really have you do some deep critical thinking about the material. But if you're not viewing the content page before, you might kind of feel like you're in the dark as to how you're supposed to complete them. So if you view the proportional reasoning page, it's setting you up for success on the extend your learning activity. So it's walking you through some of the keywords and some of the key concepts that you need. So we're talking about proportional reasoning here. We're giving you an example of some data in a table, um, another visual example, um, and this one directly correlates to our assignment this week, which is called mixing drinks. Um, so you can see we have some fun jars of punch and some different cups here that's gonna help you understand the assignment for the week. So you really, really, really wanna make sure that you're going through the information on this content page. And then here's a fun little video for you as well. Um, otherwise, when you do the extend your learning activities, um, you just might not be sure how you're supposed to complete them unless you go through the lesson first. So you definitely want to make sure you go through that proportional reasoning lesson first. And then we have another discussion board due Sunday night. This time our topic is time management. So I can't wait to hear what tips you have. Another important assignment this week is our first exam. So our online proctored exam number one is due Wednesday night. It will open Sunday night, um, the 14th. So by midnight on Sunday night, you'll be able to open it because you'll notice now if you click on it, it says it's not available yet. So tonight, June 14th at 1159 p.m., you will be able to access the exam and then you will have until Wednesday night to finish it. So that gives you a few days to plan out your schedule because you're gonna need a two hour block of time to sit down and take the exam. So you wanna make sure sometime between Sunday night and Wednesday night, you have two hours of time to do so. Um, and then your written work is also due. So as soon as you're done with the exam, you will upload your written work, just like you did for the practice exam. Um, for more information about the exam, I highly recommend you go back and reread the announcement that was posted on June 11th called Getting Ready for Exam 1. That will give you all the information you need for the exam. It will tell you where to find the review practice problems for the exam. It will tell you what to expect on the exam. So you really want to make sure you go through that announcement. Um, and then it also has the two videos that teach you how to use your apps on your cell phones to scan and upload. If you don't have your own scanner, these walk you through the process. So um, that's about it for this week. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will also be having two more Let's Meet sessions. I didn't load them in the module yet, but I will do that right away. There will be one Monday evening because that seemed to be a popular time spot. And then I'll also do one Wednesday morning, which is the morning the, of the day the exam is due in case anyone has as always, send me an email and I hope you're having a great